In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned and in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the in the highest. And, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, the Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginning you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go. Tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your own loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure before, forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The son of David will live forever. The, the son, son of David, David will, will live forever. forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever, through all generations. My mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness, for you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The, the Son, Son of David, David will live forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. The, the Son, Son of David, David will live forever. You shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. The Son of David will live forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. 
brothers and sisters, it was not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may, may be a gift, and the promise may be guaranteed to all his descendants. Not only to those who adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the father of many nations, according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born, of her was born Jesus, he's called the Christ. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus came about. When his mother was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet a willing to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention, when behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home, for it is through the Holy Spirit that the child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> So really briefly, uh, brothers and sisters, we are here today celebrating this solemnity. This is uh, actually a solemnity that kind of uh, breaks, you know, a little bit this time of Lent, in a sense uh, that during Lent, as you know, generally we wear purple color, we don't say the glory, we don't say the creed, but we say today to honor this saint, Joseph, the father of, uh, of Christ, the father of Jesus here on earth. And we see many times in the readings how we know that the Lord entrusted. It's interesting. Um, I don't remember if it was in the beginning of the prayer or if it was in the office of the reading that he entrusted the, the, the church that was born to this man. And, uh, and Joseph still today is considered the universal protector of the church. That's why it's important um, to, to, to give him uh, to give him this, this right place today to ask him for his intercession, especially during this, this time where uh, everything here seems, uh, seems dark, everything seems difficult. Uh, we don't know what to do, how to move, we should do this, we should not do that. 
And um, and I and I love this reading. We read this reading for Christmas. But even for now, it's, I think it's really appropriate. Why? Because we see that, first of all, why Joseph is a righteous man? Because we see that deeply in his heart, he enters into the will of God. He desires it. He desires it. And this makes him just. It makes him take the just decision. And there is one part that says, uh, the Lord, the angel of the Lord appeared him in a dream. And it's true that in the scriptures, uh, to sleep have many connotations. But many times in the scripture, to sleep, to have, to have a dream, it means that we are entering into deep play, prayer with the Lord. And this is what Joseph, the angel of the Lord, appeared to him and recognized that God was visiting him. And he gave him the right discernment. What to do now? And he says, you will name him Jesus. You will name him because, because Joseph was from the roots of David. And naming him Jesus means that Jesus fell legally into the roots of David. This is, was not um, a particular, uh, non, uh, uh, let us say, unknown to the Jewish people. They, they took care of, of these little details. And you will name him Jesus, and you will save his people from their sins, from their fears, from their worries, from their uh, concern. Jesus. And, uh, and that's why today we are here. Today we are here to, uh, to ask this saint to protect. You know, Saint Joseph, uh, it seems that he disappears. He protects Jesus and Mary, and he disappears, you know. And this is our protector. He will protect. He will protect the church during this time. He will intercede for us. He will help us. He will, uh, uh, um, when, when, we, um, when, um, when uh, we are in our worry, we know, we know that we can ask the intercession to the saints, to the Virgin Mary, to our Lord, and uh, and that's why today we are uh, we are here um, to give honor to this man. He was a righteous man. He entered into the will of God, and also today we can understand, Lord, where is your will? Where you want to bring me? Um, what you want to tell me in this time to me, to my heart? Now that apparently everything slows down and we can enter into prayer, like this man. We, we can enter into this dream, you know, and have intimacy with the Lord. And he will tell us, he will give us the right discernment, the many times we need. This is a big gift from the Spirit, the discernment, because it makes the makes a difference between somebody that has the Holy Spirit and somebody that not. It makes the difference because allowed us to take the decision in Christ, with Christ, with God. Brothers and sisters, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, 
and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us present to the Lord our God the prayers of his church. Uh, let us pray for the Holy Father and for all the bishops in union with him, that they might be given the wisdom and the grace of discernment in the same Holy Spirit that guided St. Joseph, and the Holy Spirit also guide them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our civil leaders, that they might enact laws and policies and legislation which will uh, be good and build a culture of life um, and promote protection and well-being for all, especially in light of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray uh, also that St. Joseph, the patron of the church, and our spiritual father, and the terror of demons, that he might protect um, all the people of Mary Immaculate, and our staff here, and all of our families, whom we lift up to you, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts. Hmm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, which is the repose of the soul of Deacon Michael Weston, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Almighty God, listen to these prayers, listen to the prayers of your church. Bring them to fulfillment through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, for creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine work of your hands, you will become for us our spiritual tree. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, to your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph served with loving care your only begotten Son, born of Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the solemnity of Saint Joseph to give you fitting praise, to glorify and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, and set a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over all your begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. To him the angels praise your majesty, your minions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the vicious of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with his salutation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in our praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy Lord for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like we do for so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. The partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread God the word, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, our civil Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Giovanni Bill, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that him who may be united with your son in a death like his. Maybe also one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, who have condemned into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious, you grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously granted peace and unity in accordance with your will. We serve it forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all this. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Defend with unfailing protection, O Lord, we pray, the family you have nourished with food from this altar, as they may rejoice at the solemnity of St. Joseph and graciously keep safe your gifts among them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, for the final blessing, I want to give thanks for the mic. And I thank uh, it's a gift. <laughs> uh, it's a gift you know, to, to celebrate uh, um, Mass in this time. And also, uh, uh, I want to say that today, worldwide, we we'll pray the rosary, uh, asking actually the protection. Uh, St. Joseph, the, the Pope said it so. If somebody has free time, you know, at, at three o'clock, remind, remember, you can pray the rosary and we will come in and many Catholics in the world asking St. Joseph the protection of the church. Okay? The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace. Thanks be to God.